My name is Alana Glassberg. I'm a sixth term veterinary student at St. George's University. Today we have what's called the One Health, One Medicine Clinic that involves the bringing together of the medical and veterinary medical communities where over there they have tents set up for physical examinations. I think they do breast exams, uh, eye vis exams on the humans and we handle those people's pets. So we are basically running a free vaccine clinic where people can bring in their dogs, cats and over there we have a setup for larger animals so people can bring bringing their sheep and goats and we're giving them as needed vaccinations, dewormers, and we're putting on a flea and tick preventative product. I had begun with signing people in, kind of getting, what we do is we get a basic history, uh, we just get their information, make sure we have everything there in case we need to contact them again, get everything down on paper, and we send them over here to what I'm currently doing, which is the physical exam tables, where we do a basic physical on them, look at all the body systems, the skin, the eyes, the ears, feel everything, listen to their heart, listen to their lungs. And then if we determine that they are healthy enough to do so, we give them vaccines depending on their age. We give all of them a deworming product to get rid of any intestinal parasites. And we put on a topical ointment on the back to treat for any fleas and ticks. Then we send them to get some goodies and on their way home. It's, first of all, it's fantastic practice for us just getting out in the real world instead of the very tightly controlled environment of classroom and clinic. And we're getting just practice with physical exams, again, without maybe all the amenities that you'd have back in the clinic. So it's kind of just roughing it. Um, and it's a great way to interact with the clients, which we also don't do as much in the clinic, at least during the earlier terms. And that's one of the most important parts of veterinary medicine, so that's good practice for us as well. And it's just a fun day. Well, my name is Riley Gavachani, and I'm a fourth term student. Um, and I'm the health care director for AMSA, so we're just getting everything coordinated and situated. It's busy. It's a lot busier than I think we've ever been. So, which is good because then we're you know helping more people. But it's also a little hectic, but it's good. Right. So for cardiovascular health, we're doing blood pressures and we're doing all their vitals, and also we're also um, checking their cholesterol and um, triglyceride levels. And there's also HSO with us who um, are handing out flyers as to how to be more healthy in terms of their heart, you know, with exercise and their diet, etc. Well, it's really nice being here in Grenada. You want to be able to give back to the community, and I think this is a great chance. And plus. Through AMSA, you also get the experience that we will need when we go out into the clinicals to do blood pressure, to take vitals, to do blood glucose testing. So it's a really great experience and also we get to give back to the community. What we are trying to emphasize um, to the young, to the old, is that a number of conditions, diseases are preventable. Um, in particular, what we're talking about are non-communicable diseases or NCDs, chronic non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and also things such as you know, cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, these things um, to some degree can be prevented. In the Caribbean we find um, you know, a great percentage of our adults um, are diabetic or hypertensive. As a matter of fact, one in five adults in the Caribbean have high blood pressure and about you know, one in six have um, diabetes, so this is significant. As a physician, I'm always happy to help in whatever, whatever capacity, but today I am here to, as, as representative of the university and also as a supervisor um, of the entire proceedings to make sure that at least the medical bit is run properly to do whatever I can to teach, to help the students, to help the patients um, as one who is more probably culturally sensitized as a Grenadian. So I'm, I'm just here to lend a hand in any way I can. You have to pay attention to you know, certain risk factors, certain things such as your cholesterol, certain things such as your, you know, your, your diabetes, if you are diabetic, your blood pressure. Um, we want you to know your number, you know, to, to look at these things, to understand what your, you know, your hemoglobin A1C means if you're diabetic. And to you know, look at that and say, well, you know, what can I do about this? How can I improve things? So you know, we need to continue to push education, um, to encourage people, and to take care of our community.